offence, Hartlepool and Middlesbrough. We're going to drive straight through you. What do you think of uh, Hartlepool so far, man? It has a Tesco. Little Willy Man. Small penis. There's loads of knobbers down there doing it. There's a lot of pigeons here as well. What's the poo? Cow poo. Right, I'm jumping. It's a good ending disaster. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> My word. <laughs> Okay, quite blustery, but okay, kind of morning in just outside Red Car, where we're going now, and Saltburn on Sea. Saltburn on Sea. Like we ain't bothering to look around Saltburn because we don't think there's anything there. No, it, it looks a little bit grey over that way, and it's looking really blue and lovely on this way, so we're heading this way. Cracking little night sleep, cracking little car park there that I've just showed you where we've had breakfast. And we're going to drive straight up past Middlesbrough now. Uh, it's about a 40 minute drive. Yeah, still not uh, a huge one. So, oh look, there's literally car parks all the way along this front here. Oh yeah, there's another one there, exactly the same. Yeah, it's brilliant. Really lovely seafront along here. Really nice. Dog walkers heaven. There's hundreds of people pulling up with their dogs, taking them for a walk. But it's lovely. I'm just looking across at those houses. They're nice. <laughs> We're not exactly sure where we're going. No, not uh, really. Just winging in a bit, see what's up the coast. <laughs> uh, Hartlepool and um, Middlesbrough. No offence, Hartlepool and Middlesbrough. We're going to drive straight through you. <laughs> yeah, we have got to be back in the Midlands for appointments a week today. So, yeah, yeah. We've, we've got a week left and I really would like to get to Northumberland. If we don't, we don't, but quite nice if we get to And as always, turn off now if you don't want to come along. I'm going to take you through red car. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I don't know what else is here, but look, I've tried to make the best of this little front bit. Esplanade. What is that? Looks like a house skeleton thing, but it's not, is it? No, I think it's just meant to look nice. Almost looks like a film reel, doesn't it? Yeah. Anybody want to come to Middlesbrough? The buildings are beautiful. Yeah, well, the top, Sam. I bet they've got a cracking view out the windows. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Hartlepool so far, man? It has a Tesco. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, it's busy. We haven't been anywhere this busy. <laughs> <laughs> They had nice lampposts like this in Morocco, they know when you come into some of the towns. I actually was thinking Riley Hill. Yeah, well it is like Riley Hill. <laughs> hey, good afternoon, eh? Hiya. See him. <laughs> wow. See him's a nice little place. You know what? It? Yeah, we just thought we'd stop here, nice car park, stop, have a lunch, right next to the sea, you know, really pretty. Didn't really think too much about it, but thought yeah. we'd have a little wander into town, just, you know just to go and see what it was like. And they've, uh, it's got an amazing history in it. Wow, you yeah. you know what, You if, if you get as far as Whitby, you've got to come here, you've got to do that little extra bit. There's not much here till you start really looking and delving a bit deeper. It's, you look on the internet, it says it's just like a cliff top town. Cliffs are beautiful. Um, and people come here to collect the uh, sea glass. Please don't, because if we all come, there really won't be any left. There's loads of knobbers down there doing it now. Yeah, you know what, I just don't understand why. Anyway, aside from that, it is, it, it's, it's just got so much about it. We, uh, we noticed walking through the town, it may like the benches and the sculptures, you see it all, I put it on there. Um, they really make the most of their local history, don't they? Like the, yeah. the mining and all that lot. And then we just got talking to the two nicest people in the uh, the gonna... lifeboat centre. And yeah. we, we've got to start doing this because the people who volunteer there, they give you so much history yeah. on the local town. It's brilliant. Do... Oh, top tip, go in the lifeboat centres, get chatting to the people in there. It's happened to us a few times. All the locals, because when we were actually by the sculpture who's called Tommy, who's a tribute to the World War, I am gonna get it right, sure, World War One soldier. Um, this local man just stood and told us so much about it. And it's quite amazing really, because a local man 
um, made him, but he's not a qualified artist, and it cost him £85,000 of his own money to make, um, which he did, um, and then he went to the council about putting it into the town, and the council refused. Well, so, it was initially there for three months, weren't it? Yeah, but they, they didn't want to keep it any longer. Um, and the local community all put money together and they raised £75,000 and then the council put £10,000 in and allowed him to keep it there. It's stunning. Yeah. It's just stunning. <laughs> you know what? I imagine Stu's filmed it all and you will get a, a great view of it, but it's just the details, the small details on it is just... But there's things like that all, all around this tiny little town and the locals are so proud they're so proud they really want to share everything about this place with you the mining mm. heritage uh the lifeboat heritage um i'm sure Stu will put things up on the screen so i won't sort of bore you with telling you all about it now and um, but there's loads of history about the lifeboat that's in the uh lifeboat museum that we went oh, well, into I guess you'd call it that, yeah, yeah like a museum oh well um, the story about that lifeboat <laughs> Have you got something on screen? Uh, I've, I've got a little bit of footage about it, so yeah. It, it, long story short, it capsized. Uh, most people died on the fish boat. Yeah, it, it was the rescuing. 1960s. There was one survivor. It ended up getting sold off. The boat did eventually, and some local found it on eBay, and it had been totally transformed into a fishing boat. Yeah, but somehow we recognised it. Yeah. God knows how. And this is 2009 and the shipwreck was in the 60s. I think it was late 60s. Um, so what did the locals do? The locals bought Chipped it. Chipped together to buy it. So they bought that and they brought that back and they restored, restored that. It. And now there's volunteers who tell you all about it. It is. It's a lovely place. Real community town. Yeah, yeah. Don't come here expecting so amazing seaside place it isn't that sort of place some lovely coffee bars and that lot yeah and but it, it, you know it's worth a visit for an afternoon or yeah. something it's the people and it's the history yeah that are here it's and they've, they've just installed three parking bays on this car park for motorhomes so i think i'm trying to get you to come yeah and what was it three pound for the day three pound for the day yeah can you and actually on a really home. nice warm day the beach is lovely as well you could come along and, and walk along the beach you've got the high cliffs it's it is really really nice and excuse me a big boat has just gone out there <laughs> out to the harbour and a lot a lot but yeah yeah we did go down to see the harbour too but yeah come and visit it's lovely yeah, see and put it on your list <laughs> that woman in that motor room wouldn't have stared at us anymore oh, it's a busy tunnel eh? In, in Spain and that lot. And we flew through them. And we've got this crappy little This one's going like down, isn't it? Yeah. It's the dingiest tunnel I've been in. <laughs> Hello! Hello, once again. What are we doing, man? <laughs> right, we went to see him. See him? Lovely, yeah. as you know. Uh, left there, went to Whitley Bay, found a really good park up, but it was in a car park in the middle of the town, and I think Friday night probably isn't going to be the best night for it. Had it been maybe a Wednesday, it might have worked, but the sun's come out Friday night in the middle. No, no, no. So we don't quite get the right feel about no, it, did we? No, and it's a shame because it was, it looked lovely. It, you know, it ticked all the boxes on paper, it just didn't feel right, and we all say if it doesn't feel right for both of us, then you move on so we came sort of out the other side of Whitley Bay and I think we had three options then <laughs> and, and on the face of it all three looked fine until you start reading the reviews and yeah. then it's a bit like no we we don't really want fighting outside our window we don't want the threat of things being stolen although we have nothing on the outside of our van but you know <laughs> then we came to this harbour one and this is employees Oh, this one's in Blythe, Blythe this sorry. One. No, this is Blythe, where we are now. Yeah, uh, which is just past Whitley Bay. It looks cracking, doesn't it? Yeah. Apart from, I mean, what time is it? It's quarter, to, quarter to six now, and there's loads of young'uns in the cars, either side of us. Well, I'm giving some of them, but 
yeah. they're going to be coming and going all night. Yeah, you know, and you know what? They're not actually doing any harm. They're coming down here, away from the town, playing the music, eating the McDonald's. You know, it's what kids do, but it isn't necessarily what we want right next to us. So, so we're moving on. It's one of them. We've done brilliant for Park Up so far, and you sort of, you know you get blips, you get blips. Luckily, it doesn't get dark till quite late now, so we're fine to keep going. Aren't we, Stu? So we're going to one about half hour up the clo up, up the half hour up the coast. It's been a long day. Uh, it's down a dead end road. It says Pothole Road, but we've done them before yeah, in the past. Yeah. And every review on there is good. And it's by nature is uh, near near the coast, five minute walk from a beach. So we're going to be protected from the the strong winds from today. So yeah. we're going to go and try that out. And see how that's like. Yeah, we'll let you know later. But um, yeah. there's a lot of pigeons here as well. They're probably having all the McDonald's fries out, the yeah, youth's cars. Probably. But it's pity because apparently all the big boats come here and I like the boats. You know, he's a bit of one for a boat, but so. No. Uh, it's a shame. Like I say, I think just we forget what day of the week it is. <laughs> I think if it hadn't been Friday, a lot of these park ups would be cracking. But. You know. Anyway, time to move. Yes, time Never to mind. move on. Should we come back at four o'clock in the morning and go, uh, 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 uh. You know what, this road's fine, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's not fine, but it really is much, much better than I was expecting. Ooh, looks like, yeah. There's some sand dunes down there, aren't there? Behind him, couldn't we? Yeah, Can we turn actually. round down here or not? Could you what, sorry? Can we turn down, round down here we'll or not? Scuffler. We'll soon find out, won't we? Yeah, because yeah, behind him would be quite good actually, wouldn't it? Because yeah. this is almost like the road bit and that's the... Let's have a look. Yeah, we could probably go, couldn't we? I say, could we turn? Oh, we don't want to go any is further it, it, really. Uh, can you turn round down here or not? No, it's not, and it's looking very puddly around there. Hello. Hello. Hello, mate. Hello. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Where are we, man? More pests. More pests. Bush poo. Cow poo, by the way. It's cows. Highland um, coo poo. Highland. Yeah. Uh, called more pests. I think it's. Uh, I can't think of the last place we passed. Whitley Bay. Yes. It's, it's about half hour north of Whitley Bay. Yeah. Um, it's right next to the beach. Where we parked up down the dead end road. I think I may have already told you that bit. Um, yeah, so we're just going a little look on the beach while it's not raining yeah. or blowing a hooli. I think you can look in the background. You might just see the roof of Turtle. Let it's me have a look. <laughs> there, oh, there's Turtle. Oh, wow, and there's the sea. And uh, yeah, and there's the sea. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Oh, we can't get down this way, man. We could jump down there, man. I could slide. Go on, then. Are we, are we jumping? No. I'm jumping. I don't know how we're going to get back up. Oh, right, no, there's about five foot. I'm jumping. This could end in disaster. Oh, it's all in my feet. <laughs> Bad for a Saturday morning now, is it? I want to try and 
dig the sand under it. <laughs> yeah, you can see his gills going now, look. Maybe he just needs to get his little... Uh, get his bearings, yeah. he's just been traumatised as he's been brought across the beach. His tail's going now, yeah. look. Yeah. been you? Hello. Are you ain't gonna get up? It's all right. You lovely, are you? Hello. All right. Oh, you got a scratchy nose. Scratchy nose. It's a bit sharp, mate. You'll be cutting yourself. All right. Do you want me to scratch it for you? Huh? Do you want me to scratch your nose? Here you look. There you go. Look. Oh, <laughs> Gail, um. <laughs> he was scratching his nose on a barbed wire, so I thought I'd scratch it for him. He went, no, nah, him alright, mate. Hello. Oh, look at all the geese over there. <laughs> you alright there? <laughs> Talking to me mates. Well, we've just stopped off in a town called Amble. We only stopped to use the toilets, but there was that many people walking past. We thought we'd have a walk up the old street. It looks alright, actually. It's nice to see a bustling high street on a Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> lots of people about, lots of little shops. Loads of independence as well, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, there's a few closed down, but that's everywhere. But yeah, it seems really busy. Something smells nice. Amble. Amble's a cracking little town. Yeah. If you're passing past Amble, it'd be so easy to drive past there. Just pop in and have yourself an hour here. Yeah? Lovely little Well, market. I'll say that an hour. If you fancy a bite to eat, oh my god, the food smells lovely down here. <laughs> and coffees. I think they must make every sorry, I'm doing the C D. Um coffees, donuts, ice creams, the food, they've got some lovely stalls. Bit of High Street, and if you're interested, between March and August, you can go and get a boat trip out to see the puffins. Yeah. Don't know the details of it. You would have to look online, 
but the guy was just like, yeah, there's thousands. So yeah, definitely a good place to come and see puffins. Yeah, put Amble on your list if you're driving up the coast this way. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We have finally found somewhere oh. to stop and have a cuppa. We had a sandwich in a lay boy. <laughs> We've just struggled to park yeah. for the last hour and a half. Every little town and like coastal bit we've gone to. There's nowhere for us to park, was there? No, I mean, there has been the problem that obviously you know, we're bigger than a car parking spot. So that's made it tricky. Again, Saturday, Saturday afternoon, weather's lovely. Well, it's lovely as it's been. Just makes it difficult. Uh, we're taking you around the grounds with all the goals as they go in. So on this is the view we've got. The South End, a goal in League One, and an important goal as well. Not bad. Derby trying to make up Bennett the score for Burton, <laughs> and then he's winning one 0 Burton still in the relegation mix. While we are crisps and drink out tea, we're are. rock and roll. And we've stopped because I want to listen to the football results. Three o'clock Saturday, which is part of the problem why we're going to park anywhere in it. I have been badgering him to go and do a pub stop so we could sit in a pub and he could listen to them. But no. I'm too tight spending money. We have a budget. Excuse us. Because we're eating cheese balls. Man loves the cheesy ball. Being our Spanish bowl. Very pretty look. Lovely. This came from. Compata, a village up in the mountains in Andalusia. Where we want to live. Anyway, I'm getting comfortable and little, whichever. Oh, it is on the pictures that they've got a bit of a harbour. Oh, you said it was a little harbour, didn't you? Yeah. On the beach is lovely, now, isn't it? Wangsi. You know what, it's a really nice little town. There's not a lot going on here. But we're gonna risk it, we're gonna stop the night and hope it's not too noisy with the sea right next to us. I think we'll be alright to be honest with you. There's no parking restrictions, it's not on any of the sites, it's not on park for night, it's not on search of sites, but the buildings opposite are all unoccupied. So we're not hurting anybody. There's man up there, look. Hello. 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 <laughs> so yeah, we're going to stop here. I mean, it's lovely now. Nice little cove here. Hopefully I can get over these rocks now, so I'm going to look a bit silly, because uh, I'm going to have to turn around.
<laughs> Good, Good morning. morning. Oh no, let me get my pretty face in. Hello. Uh, I'm not sure where that one is. Um, where are we going, man? We're going to Bamba Castle, hopefully. Let's see if we can get parked. We have left early enough. It's half eight, Sunday morning. Um, could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. People may not have moved on yet. Uh, we don't know. We're just going to chance it and see. But yeah, Bamba Castle. As for last night, lovely peaceful night where we stayed. Uh, not a lot there, but lovely little town though, isn't it? Yeah, the, you know, the beach was lovely. I think it had only maybe got two pubs. One looked a bit like a pop pub. Um, got toilets. Um, and a lovely park next to the sea. No one bothered us. Nice and quiet. I think a lot of the houses along that road, um, we looked out, seemed to be holiday lets. And there's a lot of work going on on some of the houses, so they're empty. So although we didn't park in front of a house, even the ones near us had nobody in. So, you know, we didn't feel like we were bothering anyone, which was always a good thing. Anybody who wants to stay there, uh, it's only 10 minutes down the road from Bamber as well. Yeah. So, yeah. It's sort of a good little stop off, because all the little villages we came to before were all really busy, so, yeah. Welcome to Bamba Castle. It is Bamba, eh? Bamba Gascoigne Castle. <laughs> we, uh, we were going to go in, but it's £17.50 each. No, £17. £17 each. I have looked on the internet and it says to do the whole tour takes about an hour. The pictures look stunning. They do look beautiful inside, but it's going to take an hour. And it's £17. It's a bit... They don't like this in Batman, we don't think. We'll go back to Berwick. Swim better underwater than over the water. <laughs> and, it's, and it's things you just take for granted. We're going to go and get drunk. On that note, <laughs> I'll get out quickly and show you where we are and then we're buggering up. And very small. It did look very 